Floss Tube is carrying stitches. It's Friday the 5th of November and this is Floss Tube 108. Welcome to my channel. A uh, big welcome if you're a new viewer. It's lovely to have you here. Um, welcome back if you are a returning uh, viewer. Uh, thanks for coming back. Uh, what's been going on here? Not a lot. We had half term. The kids had a week off school. Um, eldest caught up with his friends and the youngest caught up with some of her friends. They've all got friends at different colleges and schools now so um, it was nice for them to have a catch up and uh, we went to the garden centre saw my new little cute little piggies all oh, four little piglets it was just so adorable um, uh, yeah and had coffee and cake and just you know just a nice relaxing couple of weeks uh, well weeks rather um, yeah so that's pretty much it back to Run into Christmas now. Uh, yeah, I would imagine given the there's virtually no haul and only a few, five projects I think it is. It's going to be a fairly quick one today. So uh, should we just jump right in and let's just see where we go. So uh, I've been after making the little hexagon hexagon pillows. Uh, with the little words carry words. After making the little hexagon pillows like this with the English paper piecing, I started on a couple of new little snowflakes um, to make some winter themed ones. I'm just completely uh, this is kind of based on a design that was a free chart from one two three stitch which uh, from Sue Hillis. And that I'm, I made up as I was going along at the bus stop. Um, 14 count Ada uh, stitched with uh, Blanc Etoile. So, uh, basically I spent the whole of last week stitching on Christmas Rose. She came up for the daily 30 prompt and I could get her in for the entire week. So there we go, Christmas Rose. And I think you've actually might have seen, when you saw she might have actually have most of it done, but there we go. That's where we're at with Christmas Rose. This is on 36 count slightly, no, 36 count Harvest Blush by Sparklies. She's really pretty. And me being me, decided that I didn't like the four sided stitch that was here. So I did eyelets, one over one eyelets, and I don't know if it's going to show up. if it's focusing but there you go why not eh and I love them actually after despite the fact that it took me three hours to do I'm so pleased with them so so pleased with them so that's one um I'll put them there for now move the coffee to there this time next up was funky menagerie and I worked I did about three thousand stitches on this last month so um by Lindy stitches and I forget I think when I did my whip parade, you might have seen it pretty much to where it was. Um, I forget. So there we go, that's where we're at now. So you're thinking, wow, you've literally got the couple of things to do. No, 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 no. Uh, the whole of this border is wrong. Well, not the whole of it, but basically there was a stitch missing. A stitch missing out there, so I thought, oh, it's okay, I can fudge it. Until I realised after doing 90% of that border that there was actually a stitch missing out of that as well so it's too high so it's got to come out from is it the top of that or the bottom of that the, so the bottom of that pink one all the way down and then this border along the hand so it's what it is but I'm saving the praying mantis and the little bird that goes in the middle of the bottom border till last and this is stitched on a 32 count rubescent by Chromatic Alchemy uh, in the Call for DMC. So I'm going to hit back out in December. I'm having a bit of a break because I needed 100 stitches on her for a challenge. And those 100 stitches were really, really hard to do. I, I, I kind of hit that point where I don't want to stitch on this anymore. So that's better. I'm a new home for the bags. Uh, Blackbird Design Stockings. And if I can find them, oh no, it's not that one. It's October. 
that's November, that's May. We looked at these in order, there we go. So that's the stocking I'm doing. It is actually full coverage, but nobody's got time for that. So I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. And that's where I'm at. So as you can see, not much more to go on it. Basically just done those two flowers there. So I've got the toe and heel to do pretty much. So shouldn't take too long. I mean, there is a bit of fabric there for it. But. So there we go. And when I've started, if I finish, so this uh, this is in my zombie run for day 30, which means I'll put 400 stitches into it again in November. So if I do get that one finished, I am going to start... Be the last one I pull out, isn't it? That one. So I'm gonna. Oh, uh, there we go. I'm gonna do the um, daffodil. I think. So there we go. And now my things are in some semblance of order. So I have the full set of the blackbird stockings, and I've now up to mm, one, two, three. Okay, six, six. This is the sixth one out of the twelve, or is it the seventh one out of the twelve? Seventh one out of twelve. There we go. I'm doing. Um, it's my own conversion. I think one or two of them might be the right ones, but other than that, it's just a bit of winging it. So there we go with that. Uh, cardinal points another 400 stitches put into it you all know what this one looks like cardinal points long dog samplers and i'm stitching this on the same fabric as the stockings which is the 36 count ivory i got and that's the whole piece so far it's pretty good almost almost three pages done and I stitched the flowers onto this basket. Um, that one needs to actually finish because the cardinal sits across there now. So I can't believe it's going really well. So to get a page finish on this now, I need to, I've got the cardinal in the north. A um, bit more, I think I've got another two. The leaves and what you know the border bits put in here and run that across the top and then just some more of the words one more dog and i think it's either one or two smaller flower pots there yeah so oh yeah it's one either so there's a like a little spray of flowers that comes down either side and then there's another flower pot so there we go it's, it's moving along really fast now and Still think I can get it done in 2022 if I if I carry on at this pace I think it will be fine. Blackwork Lady. This is going to be the last time you see her, by hook or by crook. Well, it won't be the last time you'll see her. It'll be the last time you'll see her as a whip. The next time you see her, she is going to be a finish. I can't open the project bag. Project bag was that. So I've just realised. Oh no, two Sarah bags today. I'm stitching her on a 32 count. Um, it's a linen. Oh, an even, no, it's an even weave, isn't it? 32 count um, Opal Murano in Burns Night by Jodry Designs. She should look like that, but she, I'm losing the border, losing the wings. She's just going to be a pretty lady. Um, that's where she's at. Okay, so I finished the flower spray yesterday, super happy with that. Um, I've got a lot of beading to put in, but time to move the minder and start on her head. So, by my 
count, I think I've got 280 uh, cross stitches to do. Quite a bit of back stitch in the head because the head's got quite a lot of kind of squirrely bits in it. It's very pretty, but it's in two or three um, colours. So some, some in black, some in black etoile, just for a bit of sparkle. And also she's got a, a kind of a little spray of flowers in her hair in the Petite Pre Treasure Braid in uh, blue, uh, which is PR72. Um, there we go, that's the colour. Uh, should have enough, not, not a lot left. And then it's just a case of beading her. So the beads I've chosen, obviously I've converted it to blues. I can't get them out. Yeah, that's black. So we've got just plain black Mill Hill. These are regular size and I'm thinking I might go to Petite because actually what they're replacing is um, French knots in, so they're replacing some French knots in this section here and possibly in the bottom. Basically they're replacing French knots, the ones I'm using. I think maybe it might be in, oh, wait might be in, in these little bits here so um, I might go to black teats except for the three that are maybe called for, there's three that are called for as black beads which I might put in which are in the flower sections and um, which might be going to regular size and then I've got some these are again regular size ones but they go in her hair which I don't know if the colour's going to show oh that's not too bad they're kind of the bluey green colour with um, kind of black lining through them as well. So it's, I don't know if that's going to show. No, they just look black, but they, I'm hopefully they'll show up okay on here. They will, they will on here. And they basically go in and around the flowers and in her hair. And there was another spot which had them as well. Is it? So yeah, she's got beads in the big part dress. Oh, that's right. And then basically in this black border here, where there's a space, when there's a bead that goes in there. So I'm really excited to bead her this week um, because I really do love her. But I'm glad to get her finished because she's been hanging around for too long now. Um, so for daily thirty of people who know, two human zombie runs and she'll be done. So oh, I've got a daily thirty to join her today as well. So that's that. So those are all my whips for this week. Um, plans: definitely black quote lady. Then next week, Christmas rose will be out quite a bit, I think, as well. Um, I don't think I've got the iPad in here. No, I haven't. So th those two definitely. Um, I've got three secret stitches on the go, uh, so uh, I'll be working on them. Those in this, in this fortnight. Uh, Daily thirty monthly challenge is from the song "My Favorite Things" from The Sound of Music. So basically, you have to just pick out words and match the projects. So I've got Christmas rose, uh, and then basically the two new start, the three new starts. So. That's that's no fun that's cold so part of my haul is my new start so basically all my haul is from my new start so my new start was uh, I started Wednesday was Autumn Town by Autumn Lane Stitchery and I picked found it really hard to find a really good Ada that I wanted to use without having to wait for a dye time for our hand dyed. So I picked up this piece of um, fabric flare from Lakeside Needlecraft, which is an exclusive to them called Woodland. And I think it's really, really nice. It's got a nice mottling to it. It's quite a, it's actually more of, almost more of a spring green than anything. But there's my start. That's two and a half rows of sky. Exciting, eh? couldn't get the Glorianas and one two three is out of stock so um, I've changed the one to be cherry cobbler but I'm not actually happy with it these came yesterday and the cherry cobbler I was basing it off 
was this one, which you can see has got quite a lot of variegation in it. And these two do not. So I can't quite decide whether or not to order a different thread for the red because it's in a lot of it and I'd really quite like some variegation. So I'm a bit kind of mm, about that, but I may well order. And then for the for the tree that oh maybe not the copy over there. Tree that's here and here and there's one in the middle and yeah there's about five of them. I again that's chart that's charted in Gloriana. Everything else is DMC in a couple of weeks. And um I bought some, you've had them before, Some I got some very fine silk from 21st Century Yarns and I bought from them before and I, but I wasn't really sure what the thicknesses were like because they're kind of, they're not a, speci a specialist kind of design, diet for um, like cross stitch specifically, they're kind of a, I say yarns, they do wool, they do stranded cotton, but it's very much kind of I think probably geared more towards the embroidery, maybe cruel work, that kind of market. But I thought I'd try their very fine silk. So here we go. So this was a just a pack. These are single strand. So it's not it's not stranded cotton. It's just single strand or stranded silk rather. Single strands. These are actually um, fifteen meter skeins. Some lovely variation so my plan is I'm because I'm not entirely sure how far they're gonna go is to do the trees in these three variegated ones which I think are really pretty it's super soft um, it's quite thick so I'm doing on 18 counts so I'm hoping it's not gonna be too bulky so I'd say that it's a thickness of about I'd say one and a half to two strands but for £8.50 it was worth a punt for seven strand, seven skeins. They do do larger skeins and things. Um, so, yeah, you have to go. It's going to be fine. Um, as I say, I'm really am disappointed by those classic colour works. And the DMC was one I needed as well. Not, it's not Pete's size fault. It's just the batch. So, I don't know. We'll see. Because if you can see the red on here, it really is. It's one Gloriana, and it really just is variegated. And I thought with the skein of cherry cobbler that I was looking at, I thought, yeah, that'd be a pretty good um, substitution. So if anybody's got any suggestions or fancies that you think would make a really good substitution for that one there, do let me know below, and I'll see what I can order. So that's that's Autumn Town. So I'm hoping to get to that a couple more times this month. I've got that in my um, to-do list. And I, my other plans are to have two new starts. So I'm starting this one Sunday for Hubby's birthday because he bought me the kit and he loves nose. It's actually on uh, 32 count star sapphire. I think it's 32 count. What does it say? Oh no, it's 28 star, 28 star sapphire but i do like the color of star sapphire and my other new start is that's not the, that's the there we go and this is uh, from the art heart middle art quaker bees and this is going to be my birthday start so if you've got a bee or a quaker or a quaker bee and if you fancy joining in the hashtag will be below um so we're going to have birthday bee and quaker cell you don't have to have both do you want to do one of so, birthday bee and Quaker Cell, and now I'm doing this on Burley Bronze Ada from Sparkly, uh, 18 count, and I'm just pulling threads from my stash. So, and thank you to Karen for the chart. So, that's my plans. I've had a uh, so haul, basically the Autumn Town stuff. I also, having seen them on Helen D's and made by Michelle before. The light bulb pins I picked up this box on Amazon for about eight pounds so yeah there were options of just having kind of the metal colors but I really like the idea of having loads of different colors as well as that you know there is the gold silver the bronze and it's also a black um, some are metallic finishes some are um, more powder coated but I really like the idea of those so hence why the pillows are still up because some of them are gonna have that so 
cross stitch has come in um, with a delay on their cover kits. So I'm going to do a flip through of that. I'm actually going to record that in a minute, ready to go live um, next week, early next week. And had a birthday card from Dawn. Thank you very much, Dawn. Much appreciated. Um, one other birthday present I had from a very dear friend was a digital subscription to Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine for a year. So thank you, thank you very much. I loved to have. Um, I kind of only had a flick through last night of all the ep episodes, um, all of the issues that I could look. But I'm like, oh, Blue Flower's got a wonderful series that I can't that I really want to do. And this is just the back issues that I want to do. Um, and I can't think of a name. There's the Lindy Stitches, the abodes. Uh, they're like, there was like Vulture Villa and Polar Bear Abode. And two others that I can't remember. One's had the hedgehog on, and um, I don't remember what the third one was. Uh, the fourth one, but there's, there's those. Uh, Sabrosa has some really nice, a really nice series in. So I'm really kind of like, ah, oh, so much to stitch, and I love it, and I'm really, really excited to have had to have that. And it was a very kind and generous gift. Um, other bits and pieces that are coming really have been for um, swap bits that I'm putting together. So. That's that. Uh, I'm going into full Christmas mode. I'm, oh, Christmas is my favourite time of the year. Um, get, gotta get this week out of the way, the birthdays, and then I'm going into full full blown Christmas. Um, won't get the tree out just yet, but it, yeah, it's going to be out by about the 25th. Of, hang on, uh, I've got whether it be seventh, so it's Friday's the 12th, I think. Yeah, Friday's the 12th, 19th, 26th. It's coming out that weekend. So, because I love Christmas, I'm just my stitching tree because I want to enjoy the ornaments for as long as possible. I'm sorry, I'm jigging the table a bit today. Right, so that's where I'm at with everything. Um, no shout outs, but really, I'm really actually going to give Shelley another shout out for um, Shelley Kiek Stitch, who lost her floss tube channel and is now under um, It's Only Stitching. Uh, so, um, go and go and go and. Go and give Shelley, um, say hi to Shelley if you haven't said, if you, words, go and say hi to Shelley if you haven't been back to her new, or haven't been to her new channel, so yeah. Um, oh, other exciting news, the sampler, insert the picture here, I do lots of arm waving so it's easy to spot where to put the picture in, I'll move ever slightly too. This, so this is the sampler I saw at Preston Hall Museum in the summer, um, and I posted it to Instagram saying, oh, pretty sampler. To which Christina of Whilst Iris Naps went, that is a lovely sampler. Um, and that's quite local to me. Visited the museum and has been given permission to reproduce it. And it is a stunning sampler. Um, and uh, so I'm, I'm really pleased to have seen, the, seen this up close. And I'm looking forward to getting my hands on a chart from Christina because she's big. She was... Yeah... I'd say she's at least 14 inches square and, I, and I've no idea what count she's on so um, Christina has uh, I think she's been and done her photography at the museum um, and we'll start reproducing her at some point so that's really exciting to see uh, her um, to be done that I've seen a sam this sampler and that, that's kind of um, I think that's amazing so um, congratulations to Christina uh, on being, being able to do this and um, yeah exciting 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 news because she is beautiful and there was a lady called Mary and I forget the surname there we go. But 1831 I'm gonna say right so uh, I am gonna leave it here and I will uh, oh Dawn, Dawn no not Dawn sorry Dawn um, Mel and Lynn, I haven't forgotten your minders, they're actually st sat there ready to go, so um, I'll get those in the post this week. Yeah, right, I'm done. I will see you all in a couple of weeks time friends, uh, flip throughs will be coming up next week. Um, I need to do another stitch for me, and um, Kirsty, yes I will do a tutorial on how to do, put the hexy doodars together. Um, yeah, so until next time friends, take care, have a great week and happy stitching. Bye bye! <laughs>